right, guys, the Chiefs, they had their huge Super Bowl victory parade yesterday, and team confidence was high. Patrick Mahomes, Chris Jones, Travis Kelsey had plenty to say to their hometown fans. Take a listen. Before we started this season, the AFC West said we were rebuilding. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know what rebuilding means. In our rebuilding year, we're world champs. We're world champs. I just want to let y'all know that this is just the beginning. We ain't done yet. I have three runs for you. And after that, Travis Kelsey, there's one thing we got to do, baby. <laughs> There's one thing we got to do for our right to fight, okay? Run it back! Run it back! Run it back! Everybody's asking this is a dynasty. It's been a dynasty. And it's Chiefs Kingdom forever, baby. We love y'all. <sighs> They're coming hard, aren't they? <laughs> they love it. Love it! Here's my question. If you like how they're talking, Shannon, why do you love it so much? Because this is what the champs do every year. <laughs> Skip, I get an opportunity because I'm the last man standing, and my voice is the only voice that's going to be heard. That's my true. voice is the only voice that matters. Yep. People don't want to hear what the Eagles have to say. They don't want to hear what the Cowboys have to say. They don't want to have to see, hear what the 49ers. Only my voice, because I'm standing on Everest, and I've got a bullhorn that amplifies the sound for <laughs> thousands and thousands thousands of miles. But this is what the champions do. You had no problem with Tom Brady was out there gloating. He was out there, well, he was I, out there stumbling around and all that. I, I don't remember him gloating. I remember him stumbling. Oh, uh, Jason, Jason, this is what Jason like the general manager said. Mm -hmm. Also called Tampa uh, uh, Boat Parade. We've got the resources to keep all the guys together to keep it uh, uh, to keep you next year. We're going to F and win this thing again. You got a problem with that? Bruce Aaron says, if anybody that says run it back, taking a shot at the Chiefs because you just heard him say it again. Bull jive. That's Kansas City. Bull jive. We're going for two. We're going for two. We ain't stopping. Devin White was talking. Everybody was gloating. And nobody talked more than loudmouth Clyde Christensen. He had so much to say. And you love everything. No, nobody even knows who he is. I don't worry about it. He should have kept his mouth shut. I wouldn't have known who he was. But anyway, he had to talk and you loved it. You hear what Clyde Christensen said? He said Tom Brady going to be even better because the offense and yada, yada, yada. My homeboy, I ain't got no problem with what he said. Mm. He, that's what you said. You said he's going to miss Tyreek Hill. You saw it right over well, there. I, I think I wasn't alone with that. Yeah, you were alone. And you know what? He did miss him. The he truth missed, was, he missed him. He missed him so much, yeah. he had a career year. Mm. He set the uh, NFL record for most total yards by mm. a player in NFL history. Yep. That's how much he missed him. He won his second MVP. That's how much he missed him. First team All-Pro. That's how much he missed him. Mm. Another 5,000-yard season. He really missed it. How about another Super Bowl win and a Super Bowl MVP? Mm. Well, damn, how much did he actually miss him? I watched him throw for a grand total of 89 yards in the first half of the Super Bowl and 93 total yards passing in the second half of the Super Bowl as he came back dinking and dunking because yes. he didn't have a deep threat. And, and guess he what? dinked and he dunked. And guess what? He, had he didn't dazzle. He dinked and he dunked. You remember he had he, 13 out of 14 times he dinked and he dunked. Remember when he had that deep threat mm -hmm. last year in the NFC Championship mm -hmm. game? Where'd he get him? Mm -hmm. Where'd he get him? Now, he got guys, he came through, he ain't got a guy that can get 70 yards down the field in a hurry. Okay. All he did was not another well, MVP. I just told you, he missed him in, a, in I, some ways. Who it also, him more? It also made him a better quarterback. I'm, I'm here to tell you that the best thing that happened to him in the biggest picture was that he did sprain his ankle against Jacksonville because it forced him to play more careful football. It forced him to be more boring in the pocket. And in the second half of the Super Bowl, he was about as boring as you can get. He was game managing like Brady in his first Super Bowl in the I mean, second half. Up. But if you look at him, he didn't have a guy. So that, that just goes to show you his greatness. I'm not going to force anything. You thought he was forcing it. But a lot of those interceptions last year, carom off the guy's hands. Tyreek had about five caroms off his hands that led to interceptions. That happens. Receivers drop the ball all the time. I'm not trying, I'm not trying to, to, to diminish how great Tyreek is because we know he's great. But I guarantee you, you said it. I say Patrick Mahomes is going to be fine. Tyreek is going to be fine. Because Patrick Mahomes is historically great. And he tried to tell you, Skip. He said, fantasy owners, 
I'm sorry, but it's going to be a different guy this uh, every single week, and it's going to look a lot different this year than it had in the past. Okay. Give him credit, Skip. All right, but when you have the greatest receiving tight end ever, it's a great place to start because it makes it a lot but easier. You- Listen, by the end of the year, Travis Kelsey was so uncoverable, I'm watching three people chase him. Can I ask you a question? Three. Can I ask you- and so Juju's going to get single. Yeah. And name somebody else. because there are yes, uh, yeah, Sky Moore and Kadaris Tony. Yeah, for, call, for a while, can, Nicole. But, can, but they're just getting single. Can, can I ask you a question, Skip? Yeah. You never did this to Tom when he had Gr- uh, Gronk. You never said anything about Gronk. And Gronk was the gold tight end. I've made it abundantly clear that he was. You never used the argument that you're trying to use against Patrick Mahomes against Tom Brady. No, Why? I, I said he needed him. What did I hinge no, 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 my no. pick on this year? I said, I'm hinging it on one yeah. big if. Does Gronk come back on November 1st to save the day? No. I told you. No, no. You said this year. But all those years in New England when he had Gronk, and Gronk was uncoverable, when Gronk was unstoppable, you never used Gronk to diminish what Tom Brady did as you do with Travis Kelsey to diminish what Patrick Mahomes has done. Okay, but Gronk wasn't nearly as elusive as Travis Kelsey is. I've never seen anything like yeah. a man who's whatever he is, 6'3", 260 or Skip. whatever. Have you ever seen somebody move like you that? You do realize that Travis Kelsey broke a lot of Gronk's record. He moved in the second all time. Yeah. So that means Gronk was doing something. Elusivity, okay, I get all that. Yeah, there are different uh, types I mean, of guys. Like- like Frankenstein. Yeah. He's just sort of like, yeah. boom, yes, boom, yes, boom. yes. Right. One, guy, one guy is shifty, yeah. one guy's an 18 wheeler. But <laughs> the results are very similar. And that's all I'm saying. If you want to try to minimize Patrick Mahomes because he has Kelsey. I'm not minimizing. I'm just saying it, a fact is he did have the best receiving tight end. It's a place to start or restart. So what he was says, wrong? Well, I don't even know what rebuilding is. So can I ask well, you it's qu- hard to be rebuilding when you got Travis Kelsey. So can I ask you a question? So what was Gronk? So what was Gronk? So where would you rank Gronk when, when when Brady had Gronk when he was in New England all those years and when he came back to? So where would you rank Gronk as far as tight ends when Brady had him in New England? He was the best. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Okay. But but he didn't stress a defense quite yes, like he did. Travis. Not like this guy. Yeah, if he this did, this guy's unbelievable. Yeah, if he wouldn't, if he didn't stress the defense oh. like Kelsey does now, why would you say everything that Brady needs is contingent on Gronk coming back if he didn't stress the defense? Okay, it's because he had two rookie tight ends and they were okay, but they weren't anything to write home yeah. about. Okay, but okay. okay. Rookie tight ends, but he yep. had Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. He did. Mike Evans doesn't know what it's like to play in an NFL season where he doesn't have a thousand yards. Mm-hmm. My, Chris Godwin has gone to the Pro Bowl twice. Coming off complete knee reconstruction so, and never looked quite right to okay, me. Okay, but look at okay, Juju, who Steelers gave up on, who came back, he's more known for TikTok than making plays on the football field over the last several years. I got he it. had Kadarius Tony, who the Giants says, y'all can have. We took him in the first round. A year later, we'll give him to you for a fourth or fifth rounder. He had Sky Moore. He had Justin Watson, who the Tampa Bay Buccaneers like said, him. we got no use for you, bro. Yep. Brady twice tried to throw him in the first year, and both of them got pick sixed. MBS. The Packers says, nah, we good. We're going to take these rookies, no, and we're going to meet forward I do with think it. he's better than you're giving him credit for. Skip, I'm, skip. so if he's so much better than I'm giving him credit for, why didn't the, why didn't the, uh, uh, the Packers keep him? On money, I think. It wasn't no money. Yeah. It wasn't no money. Yeah. No, no, don't do that. Because it's, like, it's not like the Kansas City opened and broke the bank for him. He didn't get Devontae money. He's on a one-year deal. How much money you get on a one-year deal? Juju's okay. on a one-year deal. All right, but all day yesterday... Kansas City's playing the no respect card. You, you like, didn't give no, it to him. No it. respect. I told you right out of the box, two weeks before the Super Bowl, on the Monday after the championship games, I said, I always guess what the spread should be before I look at the spread. I said, I can't believe Kansas City's not a four or five point favorite because it's Patrick Mahomes versus Jalen Hurts. Yes. Well, Patrick's way better than Jalen That's in, not what in you experience. Well, well, again, I was the only one out there saying Jalen Hurts is way better than people think. I said it from I first guessed it. But hold on. You say uh, they playing a disrespect. You've been disrespecting Patrick Mahomes all year because you say Joe Burrow is better than he is. Well, he not- just is. He is. I'll take him any day or night. And I tell you, Patrick that, Mahomes you. was so lucky in this nah, he Super Bowl. Lucky. Well, well, if Jalen Hurts doesn't lose the handle as he switches well, hands skip. with the football, I, that's just a gift from, from the skip. gods. Skip. It's a I gift. don't know why 
things that have happened in every Super Bowl, in every game, once it goes in Kansas City's favor, it's lucky. Tom Brady is so lucky mm. that they chose to throw the ball and Malcolm Butler picked it off. Okay. But you don't say anything about that. I say it because Tom Brady was down 24 to 14 <laughs> going to the fourth quarter. And he threw for 124 yards against the Legion Patrick, of Boom. Patrick threw for 93 in the whole second half. Patrick Mahomes. It's, it's pedestrian. Yeah. He it's, down, it's not what, dazzling. What difference does it make? Pedestrian. You, you're down 24-14. Yeah. You're down 10. You come back. Mm -hmm. How you came back, he had to be perfect. He had to score every drive. If he goes one drive, Mm -hmm. In the second half, if he doesn't get points, they lose the game. Was he up against the Legion of Boom? I think not. I first guessed oh. it. I told you Philly's defense is sorry. So let me ask you a question. We, we hung 40 on Philly's defense at Dallas. Okay. 40. Okay. And I'm saying, what, how, is, what are How many thinking? of the Legion of Boom had surgery that offseason? You, know. you do know. You know uh, You know Richard Sherman yeah, messed yeah, his yeah, arm up. Yeah, you, you tell know. me if oh, they're out there, uh, they're Oh, they're so now, now they're out there. See? You see what you did? So, Tom... Man, I skip. You keep moving it's the, the goal. Legion post. of Boom. You keep, no, you, I'm not. You, you you're the, goal the goal. one who said the goals post and concrete. No. If you're out on the field, you're playing, and okay. there are no excuses. And well, now you're giving them all excuses. No, I'm not giving them excuses. But you're trying to minimize Patrick Mahomes' greatness. No, I'm not. I just haven't seen him play a spectacular Super Bowl yet. So the first one. And by the way, he, he's one of those I told you so guys, and I don't have great respect for that. Why? He, he came on our show. Remember after the yeah. first Super Bowl, and he came on here. He asked to come on because he wanted to need me about yeah, taking a little shot. Yeah, you him. did. Okay, I did because late in the third quarter, if we could see it right now, of his first Super Bowl against San Francisco, Skip, they won that game. A careless interception, down twenty to ten. If we could please see this one, this is they're down twenty to ten. This is late third quarter, and he says, "I'll try what? You'll try that? That's your, that's that's a whole bad idea, right? It was bad. Okay. He made a mistake. Okay. Skip, he's human. So so all of a sudden, I'm thinking. I think that might be a game loser. And then we go early fourth quarter, and he tries this one, and it's high and wide and with too much. He was trying to save. He was, try, he was trying to save no, uh, Tyreek so. from a headache. But you see that safety? It, it's terrible footwork. It's a careless pass because Andy let him get yeah. away with near murder. But, but here, okay? this, is what I, this is what I want okay? to know. Now you're down 20 to 10 there, early fourth who quarter. Won the and game? I'm thinking, wow. Who won the game? I can tell you who lost the game. Jimmy Garoppolo did because he's got it in the palm of his hand and he goes 3 of 11 in the fourth quarter for a grand total of 36 yards and throws a pick and misses Emmanuel Sanders at the goal line so, running free. So That's what he did. So in other words, in the Super Bowl that they won um, against Atlanta, Matt Ryan lost the Super Bowl. Mm. In the Super Bowl that they won against the Legion of Boom, Russell Wilson lost the Super Bowl. Since we're doing yeah. bad quarterback okay. play down the stretch, is that how we measure who wins and loses? So th is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying that Patrick Mahomes was very fortunate that the opposing quarterback was Jimmy Gag in so, that Super so, Bowl. So Brady has never and, been fortunate. And, and by the way, and Patrick was needling me back about this play, but if we could see the third and 15 play, yeah. this is the game. This is seven minutes left. You're still down 20 to 10. Right. And you're backed out. It's third and 15. And he throws what was basically to me a punt up to. He just says, are you over there, Tyreek, somewhere? He just throws Wasp. a punt where he has to come back and catch it. He, he actually waved for a fair catch to no, catch the ball. And it ends up going for 44 yards because the DB can't find the ball. And he benefited from having a speed freak of a receiver who threatens the defense so badly that they're they're running crazy back. And the ball is – it's like 15 yards underthrown. Can I ask you a question? And he comes back and fair catches it. And that's the game. That tilted the game. You told you said that uh, uh, Patrick Mahomes asked to come on. He wanted to needle you. Yep. So what do you have about when Brady did his documentary and he had what I said playing in, in, the, in the highlight package? Okay. You was okay with that? Well, I don't remember it. Oh, you I, I don't it. know it. Oh, yeah, he said it. Yeah. Okay, what did yeah. he say? About what I said. What I said. He's playing in the background about what I had doubted him. Okay. He had me in his documentary. Were you okay with that? Okay, well, did he come on here and do it nah, too? That's now you do do it. Okay. it, it Skip, it's in his documentary. Tom okay, Bur all right. I'll go look it up. I don't okay. know it. Okay. I, I don't. Okay. I didn't see the documentary. Okay. I don't know which one. Yeah, it you is, saw it. Okay, all right. Well, then, like later in his career, he started to come out on social media in ways I'd never no, seen no, him no, before. No, I don't yeah. want to hear nothing about no later, no earlier. He's doing No, I'm it. telling you, later in his career, he never did anything he, like that in New Skip, England. Did he do it in New England? He did 20 it. years he did in New England. He did it. Yeah. So all I'm saying okay. is, is that he's doing things, and these, it, it's a different – the guy – I mean, older quarterbacks, uh, uh, Elway and and, 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 and uh, Aikman and all these guys and, and, and Bradshaw. Skip, they wouldn't do this, but this is a different era. This is a different time now. Okay. Guys are different now. All right. And Tom Brady is part of the era. Okay, but I don't t remember Tom gloating after he went to Tampa and won a Super Bowl in a pandemic he year with a 7-9. I don't remember. He gloated. Yes, yes. I don't remember any Everybody gloating. was gloating. 
I thought I thought he was too tipsy to gloat. No, nah, he was gloating. Yeah. He, mm-hmm. That's why he got tipsy. <laughs> I get, get drunk on you bums. Yeah? Yeah. Everybody getting tipsy. Well, by the way, he'd only beaten Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl 31 to 9, and Patrick just stunk that You see? Day. You see what it is? You see what you did? Now, when Tom Brady wins, mm-hmm. it's Tom Brady beat the opposing quarterback. Now, when Patrick Mahomes wins, you yeah. talk about Kadarius Tony on the punt return. Yeah. You talk about all these other things. I'm you... glad you brought the punt return up because <laughs> did Patrick throw him the ball on that nah, punt return? See? I don't think so. You see? That was the longest punt return okay. in Super Bowl if, history. If you don't mind me asking, what role did what role did Tom Brady play in Malcolm Butler's interception? Well, none, obviously. He he did not. Mm. What role did Bill Belichick play in losing the Eli Super Bowl, the first one, and losing to the Eagles, forty-one to thirty-three? What role did Bill Belichick play? Help yeah. me out. Tom Brady, I need both of them. Tom Brady won the fumble. The, he, he fumbled the ball. Uh, Coach uh, Belichick fumbled the ball. Uh, Brandon Graham knocked the ball out of Belichick's hand. Okay. Yeah. It was it was Bill Belichick that threw the ball behind Wes Welker. Huh. That was Coach Belichick did that. Huh. But you told me if you get two hands on the football, you should catch it. You right? told me he the go. He should have hit him between the numbers. Mm. The eight and the three. He the go. Wow. Patrick Mahomes hit people in the. Patrick Mahomes with thirteen or fourteen with a throwaway. Huh. He would have been fourteen or fourteen. Tom Brady never stunk the way Patrick Mahomes did in a Super Bowl against Tom Brady. If you don't mind me asking, has Tom Brady ever posted a ninety-six point four mm, QBR no. in a Super Bowl? No. Why not? Mm. Why not? Yeah, against the sorry Eagles defense. Hey, so, hold on. So, every defense that he went up against was the, was the 85 no, Bears or the 2000 break. It so, wasn't. he got – so, I, oh, I'm going to go back and look. Because, mm-hmm. uh, Ash, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to – during the break, I need you to find me that 96.8 QBR mm-hmm. that Tom Brady has posted in the Super Bowl. Mm. Well, I'll show you six game-winning drives in his first six Super Bowl victories in the which, fourth quarter or overtime. Which one posted a 96.5? Mm-hmm. Okay. I need Ash to go look up and see if she no, can you find get, you one. No, you get Tyler. One, one you get Tyler. No, do that. I want Ash to no, do that. No, Ash didn't do this. Ash, she's better. She's Ash better. is on my she, team. She, Ash is team she, she, Shay. She, she's the one. She she finds all the nuggets. <laughs> no, right? Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. All the diamonds in the rough. I need to find that one Brady Super Bowl that was half as bad. As Patrick's against Brady. The first Half one. Half as bad. The first one. Oh, yeah, when he completed five straight passes down the stretch. Five straight, yeah. wow. Yeah. For how many yards? Yeah. 50. For about 50 yards. Oh, okay. He set up a walk off field goal. Yeah. His first year oh, no. so, so, did he kick the field goal? Mm. So, why are you giving him credit for something somebody else mm. did? Mm. Oh, as a matter of fact, the first two Super Bowls that they won was on Adam Benatari's foot. Mm. Am I correct? Has. Has Patrick Mahomes had one spectacular Super Bowl performance? I, had, I don't see one. He's had one spectacular career. Oh, I can't you skip because there's so many. Huh? He ain't a moment. Well, who holds the playoff record for yards passing in any game, including Super Bowls? And oh, that, it's the 505 Brady put up against I don't want you to tell the people mm. and what's next to that. It goes 505 and is it a W or an L next to it? Ask Bill Belichick. I don't, I'm asking you. Yeah. I can't talk to Coach Belichick. Yeah. I ain't got his number. I got you sitting in front of me. Be- so is it- Belichick gave up 41 to the backup quarterback. Who Yikes. Came, who came to my and, restaurant? And you're the one who still says he's the greatest coach ever. He gave up 41 to the backup As a matter of fact. I set my old, oh, old, oh, oh, that club shape. I got a, I got a mafia table. Really? Yeah, it's in the back. Mm. So when all the other chairs are occupied, Tom <laughs> Brady came to my restaurant and sat the mafia table in the yeah. kitchen. You know the mafia table's in the kitchen. Okay. Yeah. So we can just bring that stuff right out there hot to him, right in the pot to pan. Just put it right on his plate. Would you like another helping of this to, L? To, sure, to, Mr. Chuck. To, to congratulate for his 505. <laughs> yeah, I'll congratulate. Mm. I don't congratulate losers. Mm. That's not what I do. You come to my restaurant mm. and you get crappy service really? because that's why you came that you don't deserve to get the great service. My homeboy ain't been there. When the last time my homeboy came to my restaurant? Mm. Been a long time, Skip. Mm. He might not ever come I, back. I'm afraid Tom Brady's never been to your restaurant. He might not ever come back. My homeboy <laughs> might not ever come back to the restaurant.